Making your own custom hooks can seem scary, which is why many devs avoid using them. But what if I told you they can be simple? First, let's start by using an object that will hold the window height and width for us. Height, width. Great. Now let's set up a use effect that will hold our event listener and callback. And since it only needs to run on mount, we won't add any dependencies here, just an empty array. Let's include this. All right, now let's define our callback. So when this gets called, it will set the height from window inner height and the width from window inner width. All right, great. Let's actually rename this so it's not resize, but update window size. That makes sense. Now let's add an event listener for the window resize event. And since we want to keep things clean, let's add a return function that will get used to clean up the resize event listener. All right, now let's print out both values. We'll get the height from window size dot height, and we'll get the width from window size width. And there we have it. So great, it works, but this isn't a custom hook. Custom hooks usually start with the word use. So let's come up here and write out use window size function. And what we can do is actually copy all of this here up into the function. And what we have to do is return this object. Okay, great. Now let's update our code down here to use the hook. And let's extract out height and width from the object. And now let's update these down here to actually just get the height and the width and print them out. And as you can see, still works just fine. So now we have no reason to fear custom hooks, and hopefully this showed you how simple it can be. Stay tuned for more tips on React. Happy coding.